In this video, I visit Te Arai, north of Auckland. Te Arai is a very popular surfing beach. According to Wikipedia, it got its name from the captain of the Moi Kākara, Waka. He landed there and set up a temporary shelter. One of the meanings of the word arai is shelter. In August, I was lucky enough to stay at TRI Lynx. My other half was trying out the new golf course. I have no interest in golf, so I took the opportunity to wander around with my camera. There was a small flock of Tuturi Fatu, New Zealand dotterels, on the fairways and greens of the new golf course. These birds are now endangered through coastal development, mammalian predators, and storm surges. Uncontrolled dogs, cats, and off-road vehicles are also huge problems. We humans are not making it easy for them to survive. Also on the course were a pair of pihoihoi, or New Zealand pippin. They seemed to favour the rough edges rather than the manicured greens. They were very cute birds and they have a distinctive walking gait. I found it a real challenge to keep up with them. Similar looking to the pihoihoi was the introduced Eurasian skylark, or kairaka. This bird was much warier of me than the pihoihoi were, and I only managed to get a distant shot of it. There is not much cover on a golf course. There were other birds about that I didn't manage to photograph. Some brown quail scurried quickly away from me as I wandered around. I also spotted a flock of yellow hammers enjoying the grass seat, but couldn't get near enough for a photo. Sadly, there was also plastic waste from the developments nearby. It was a bit tricky to find a path to the beach over the dunes. I didn't want to just go stomping around anywhere, mindful about keeping the disturbance of my presence to a minimum. It was worth the clamber. I was the only person on the beach. What a huge privilege, it was so peaceful. The day was cloudy, but there was little wind, which was a nice change after the stormy wet weather we have had this winter. I could see a few oyster catches, but no other birds. The tide was quite far in, so this could have affected what was around. I took the opportunity to snap a few shells and other interesting things on the beach. I even found a long dead bird of unknown species. I tried getting some shots of the oyster catchers. In order to get the sun behind me, I had to stand on the seaside of the beach. With the dunes rising up behind the birds, I struggled to get a good shot of them. And with the tide coming in, I didn't have much room to manoeuvre. I backed off a bit and waited. Two of the birds settled down to rest on the beach, and I noticed they looked almost like one bird with two heads, just like a push me pull you. Links to further information about the birds in this video, Te Arai, and the camera gear that I use to take the photos are in the description below. Thanks for watching. Kaki te ano.